Grandiosity has never been a problem with Newt Gingrich. He, he, he handles it very, very well. Uh, and that's really one of the issues here, folks. I mean, a month ago he was saying that, oh, I'm, it's inevitable that I'm going to win the election and it's I'm destined to do it. Uh, I don't want a nominee that I have to worry about going out and looking at the paper the next day and figuring out what is he worrying about what he's going to say next. And, and that's, that's what I think we're seeing here. I think grandiose thoughts. This is a grandiose country of big people doing big things, and we need leadership prepared to take on big projects. The story is false. Every personal friend I have who knew us in that period says the story was false. We offered several of them to ABC to prove it was false. They weren't interested because they would like to attack any Republican. They're attacking the governor. They're attacking me. I'm sure they'll presently get around to, to the Senator Santorum and Congressman Paul. Gentlemen, when will you release your tax return specifically? An hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speaker posted his online an hour ago. We know that Congressman Paul will come down the line. Congressman Paul, I want to start with you. We reached out to your campaign this week, and they said you would not release your tax returns. Why? Well, well I hadn't thought it, thought it through. I don't have an intention of doing it. But for a different reason, I'd probably be embarrassed to put my financial <laughs> statement up against their income. And I don't want to be embarrassed because I don't have a greater income. Back in 1967, your father set a groundbreaking, what was then a groundbreaking standard, in American politics. He released his tax returns. He released them for not one year, but for 12 years. Will you follow your father's example? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I don't know how many years I'll release. I'll take a look at what, the, the, uh, uh, what our uh, documents are. And I'll release uh, uh, multiple years. I don't know how many years, and, and, uh, but I'll be happy to do that. And let me tell you, I know there are some who are very anxious to, uh, to see if they can't make it more difficult for a campaign to be successful. I know the Democrats want to go after the fact that I've been successful. I I'm not going to apologize for being successful. And I want to make sure that I beat President Obama. And every time we release things drip by drip, the Democrats go out with another array of attacks. I I've as, as has been done in the past, if I'm the nominee, I'll put these out at one time so we have one discussion of all of this. Uh, I obviously pay all full taxes. I'm honest in my dealings with people. People understand that. My taxes are carefully managed. And uh, I pay a lot of taxes. I've been very successful. And I w when I have our, our taxes ready for this year, I'll release them. Look, he's got to decide, and the people of South Carolina have to decide. But if there's anything in there that is going to help us lose the election, we should know it before the nomination. And if there's nothing in there, if there's nothing in there, why not release it? Governor Romney tells a very nice story about what his plan is now. It wasn't his plan when he was in a position to do a plan. When he was governor of Massachusetts, he put forth Romney Care, which was not a bottom-up free market system. It was a government-run health care system that was the basis of Obamacare, and it has been an abject failure, and he has stood by it. So much of what uh, the senator said was wrong. Uh, let me mention a few other things. Uh, first of all, uh, the system in my state is not a government-run system. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. <laughs> what he said, which I found mildly amazing, was that he thought I would have a hard time debating Barack Obama over health care. I'd be quite happy to have a three-hour Lincoln-Douglas-style debate with Barack Obama. I'd let him use a teleprompter. I'll just rely on knowledge. We'll do fine.